My name is Kate O'Brien. I'm a professor of international health at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health in Baltimore, United States. Vaccines are a critical part of assuring health and survival of all children around the world. And for India, um, assuring vaccines are part of the universal health care package is a really critical intervention. Um, so around the world, there are um, enormous efforts going on right now to uh, initiate interventions and to accelerate interventions to do something about pneumonia deaths among young children. And these include um, packages of vaccine interventions, series of vaccines that can address the most common causes of pneumonia death, but also um, efforts to promote prevention of pneumonia and protection of children against pneumonia. And those include things like clean drinking water, um, sanitation, increasing breastfeeding rates, and protection of children through good nutrition um, and assuring that they, that they um, are able to fight the germs that cause pneumonia. So India, it's true, India does have one of the highest burdens of pneumonia around the world. And the most common bacterial cause of pneumonia is a germ called pneumococcus. And the good news is that there is a vaccine against pneumococcus, and it's a vaccine that works really well. Um, so India is about to start the introduction of that vaccine as part of the routine immunization schedule of all newborn um, children. What we've seen from other countries is that when a program like this rolls out and is used among all kids, there's a really substantial reduction of uh, the number of children not only who die, but also children who survive their illness, but really suffer the consequences of the illness. So PCV is a vaccine that's used in over 130 countries around the world. And as a result, it's one of the most studied vaccines probably that we have ever had. Um, it's an incredibly safe vaccine um, that uh, is highly effective against the strains of pneumococcus, the germ it's directed towards, that are in the vaccine. We've got a huge experience of use of this vaccine for over 15 years now, starting first in the year 2000 and rolling out now to um, dozens, tens, hundreds of countries now around the world. So your question um, really deals with the fact that there is another bacterium called Hib um, that is a well-known cause of meningitis and of pneumonia. And you're absolutely right that we um, have a vaccine against Hib, and it's used, used routinely here in India. So the reason why we need another vaccine, the PCV vaccine, is that um, uh, there are many different causes of pneumonia, but Hib and pneumococcus are the two most common bacteria that cause pneumonia and are the two most common um, causes of fatal pneumonia. So having already introduced Hib, it's really time to introduce PCV and deal with this second killer of children. So antimicrobial resistance um, is seen with a number of different bacteria. Pneumococcus is one of the bacteria that has antimicrobial resistance. And what's interesting about pneumococcus is that the strains that are in the pneumococcal vaccine are the strains of pneumococcus that are most likely to be resistant to antibiotics. So giving vaccine is an incredibly powerful tool to reduce not only pneumococcus, but very specifically the resistance that's seen in pneumococcus. You know, choosing preventive techniques is not an either or. We should be promoting and investing in all of the preventive techniques for a community of children, just like we would for our own children. So adequate nutrition, clean sanitation, all of these are important um, things to invest in and to assure are available to all children but so are vaccines. These are complementary interventions and it's not choosing one or choosing the other. Poor air quality is one of the very significant risk factors for children to get pneumonia from either viruses or from bacteria. Uh, one of the questions that comes up a lot is why does one child get pneumonia and not another child? And part of this has to do with their exposure to pollution. So this vaccine um, is particularly important among children who are living in settings where they have a lot of exposure to poor air quality 
because they're at particular risk of getting disease. The path to introduction of vaccine and the impact of vaccine is a, is a well-trodden path now. Um, what we've seen in both developed countries and in developing countries is this is a vaccine that when actually used in children saves lives. And not only does it save lives, but it saves money. It saves money for families and it saves money for governments. Um, so this is not only um, a vaccine that has health benefits, but it also has economic benefits for, for parents and for, for communities. So when we think about the economic benefits, for families, this is really about prevention of dollars spent, rupees spent, um, on caring for children who get sick. This is avoiding the costs of going to the doctor for a respiratory illness, avoiding um, what can be extraordinary, catastrophic economic costs for families whose children are severely sick in the hospital, especially from pneumonia or meningitis. For governments, the other way that we think about economic costs is the, the, um, the return on the investment of vaccines. And we've seen that there is, vaccines are probably one of the most beneficial economic interventions possible um, for governments. It creates health, but it also creates wealth um, within the population. One of the re remarkable things about uh, PCV vaccine is that it protects not only those children who are themselves vaccinated, but because pneumococcus is a germ that's carried in your nose and passed from one person to the next, and because children are the most likely people within the community or the household to transmit the germ, when we immunize children, we actually protect not only them, but also the older people that they're around from pneumococcal disease. So although we're not actually vaccinating older people, what we've seen from other countries is that there is a tremendous benefit to older individuals who themselves are not vaccinated just because the kids that they're around have been vaccinated and protected. Conjugate vaccine is part of the routine immunization schedule. It's exactly the same vaccine that's gonna be introduced uh, into India. There are some differences between the program in the US and the program in India in terms of um, the timing at which the doses are given. These are small differences in choice of program to tailor it to the country setting. Um, but this is a, a routine normal part of um, both immunization schedules. Um, it's been a vaccine which has shown in, uh, extremely high safety um, in the US and extraordinary benefits beyond what was expected from the vaccine, and especially beyond what was expected from the vaccine for people who were not actually immunized, the age groups that don't actually get the vaccine, older people, um, parents of children who are vaccinated. So I think what we're expecting out of the Indian program is um, extraordinary benefit and probably of the same magnitude, if not greater than what was seen in the US.